The Chichimecas were the first known inhabitants of the Rincón de Romos region. They lived in the area for thousands of years, hunting and gathering to survive. The Chichimecas were known for their fierce resistance to Spanish colonization, and they often raided Spanish settlements in the area. But despite their existence, Spaniards were not discouraged to try to conquer these lands in hopes of finding gold and other valuable resources. The name Rincón de Romos comes from a Spanish soldier named Romo, who arrived in the area in the 16th century. He established a ranch in the area and named it Rincón de Romo, which later became the name of the town. In the early 17th century, the Spanish established a settlement in the area that is now Aguascalientes. Rincón de Romos was part of the settlement and it grew in importance as a trading center for the surrounding area. The town's location near the border between the Spanish territories of Nueva Galicia and Nueva Vizcaya made it an important crossroads for trade. On January 16, 1811, Hidalgo's army arrived in Rincón de Romos where they camped for the night. The next day they continued on to the Puente de Calderón, a bridge over the Calderón River, where they would face off against the Spanish army. The battle that took place here was one of the most important of the Mexican War of Independence. The insurgents were ultimately defeated, but the battle is considered a key moment in Mexican history. After the battle, Rincón de Romos was occupied by Spanish forces. However, the town's strategic location and its importance as a center for trade made it a hub for insurgent activity. The town was also the site of several important battles during the war, including the Battle of Los Orcones. After the Mexican War of Independence, Rincón de Romos continued to grow and develop. The town became an important center for agriculture, particularly for the cultivation of guavas. Today, Rincón de Ramos is known throughout Mexico for its delicious guavas which are used in a variety of culinary dishes. The Feria Nacional de la Guayaba, which takes place in October, celebrates the town's famous guavas, which are known in the region and are known for their sweetness and flavor. The festival features a variety of guava-based dishes and products, as well as music, dance, and other cultural activities. Another important festival that takes place in the town is dedicated to Señor de las Angustias, and features music, dance, and food. Señor y Dios nuestro, que siempre nos llamas a la unidad para que animados por un mismo espíritu recorramos el único camino de la salvación. Reúne en tu iglesia a todas las naciones. Señor y Dios nuestro, There's a church named after him downtown. Seamos una sola, seamos una señal cada vez más cierta de la presencia entre nosotros. The city was once home to a priest named Padre Nieves, 
who people believed made miracles. He has a church in the city. Many people go to Rincón de Romos to pray for miracles. And the town has the biggest rural hospital ruled by the government of Aguascalientes. In the 20th century, Rincón de Romos became an important industrial center. The town's location near major highways and rail lines made it an attractive location for manufacturing companies. Today, Rincón de Romos is home to several factories that produce goods, ranging from textiles to automotive parts. There are also mines that extract mercury and copper. Thanks to irrigation, Agriculture is another big industry, producing maize, beans, garlic, potatoes, chili, as well as peaches, pears, and grapes. Rincón de Romos is a charming town in the state of Aguascalientes, Mexico, with a rich history and a variety of cultural and natural attractions. Whether you're interested in exploring the town's historic sites or enjoying its natural beauty, or sampling its delicious local cuisine. There's plenty to do in Rincón de Romos. For a truly authentic experience, be sure to visit the local Mercado and sample some of the town's delicious street food, including tacos, gorditas, and sopes. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I have many more videos of Aguas Calientes, including the various historical neighborhoods, as well as the different things you can do in and out of the city, like going on hikes or enjoying some of the local cuisine. You can find all those videos in the playlist that is linked in the description below this video. You'll also find a link to another playlist of when I bicycled through Mexico. That was part of a larger trip bicycling through Latin America. I've also bicycled through Eastern Africa and Central and Eastern Europe, and I have playlists for all those countries that I've bicycled through, available on this very same YouTube channel, Hum of the Earth. Alternatively, if you'd like to see an interactive map of everywhere that I've been and all the things that I got to see and do, I have that interactive map available over on my website, followthehumoftheearth.com. where you can click on the different locations and see all the blog posts and videos that I've made of those places. And if you'd like to follow my continuing adventures through Mexico and beyond, you can do so by clicking on the red subscribe button and clicking on the bell to be notified when new videos come out. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one.